Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back on our Fullcraft server. This is the Soul Adventure server, and we are about to have some fun. So I have some plans for today, and I've got a specific order I want to do things. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get the uh, smeltery set up because we are getting these ores. I like to be able to double the ores in the smeltery. So we're going to have to go out and gather some sand and some gravel and that sort of thing. Now, that's interesting. There's a little uh, block there that's lit up. So we're going to see if that is. Let's go take a look at that, and hopefully I won't die on the way there. We're going to have some fun, though, today. And like I said, get that smeltery going. I hear something here. Let's go see if we can find this. Oh, it's a chance cube. That's what it is. Okay. Well, here's some sand, a little island. We'll take out this sand. We're going to gather up sand. We're going to gather up gravel. Um, well, we were going to gather sand. Let's get rid of that and that. And now we'll get actual sand. There we go. So let me start some gathering here. We're going to gather up all the sand, gravel, get everything set up. We're going to get the Tinker Smelter going, and then we can go on with what we really want to do for today. Okay? So everybody seems to be really liking the fact that I've gone back to full craft. I've gotten a lot of comments, and that's really great. And I want to thank everybody for uh, showing up. If you like this video and you like this series, please click that like button. So, uh, yeah, to make a Tinker Smelter, you need to make grout. Grout takes a lot of sand, a lot of gravel but it also takes clay so we're out here looking around for some clay and I think here's some clay right here and we're going to vein mine that just like that and of course did we get some we did we got a lot so we're going to go up here for a second so I don't drown we're going to go back to our base up there and we're going to put this in the chest and we're going to see if we have enough to make what we need now this takes a little bit of time to make the smeltery and I'll show more about it uh, you've probably seen it before but I'll probably go through it here in just a couple seconds let me grab this too since we're here there. Okay. Okay, so we go in here. I can't remember if grout needs to have a block or yeah, it needs the block of clay. Okay, so let's close this door so nothing comes in here. Here we go. We're gonna take this, we're gonna make some blocks. That's a lot. And that's a lot. I'm gonna put it in the chest. The chest is attached to this table right here. So everything in the chest is here. Now we're gonna hit grout. I'm gonna hold down shift and press the button and put it in there. Come on. Why is it not letting it go in? Maybe because I don't have my inventory. Let's just pull up my inventory then. I thought that would work. Okay, here we go. And boom. We can make a lot of grout. And there it is. That's all we have left. Now, when we use that and you put that into a furnace, you get the seared bricks, which is what we're trying to get to first, which is grout. So let me cook up this uh, stuff and we'll be back in just a little bit and we'll start to make the pieces we need for the smeltery. I'm still cooking up some of the bricks, but I have over a stack on me. So we're going to try to start to build the major components of the smeltery. Now, if you go in here and you do the smeltery, there's a lot of different things that show up. Now, what you need for sure is you definitely need to have the controller. Okay, so that's pretty easy, right? Let's go grab that. Probably should be just doing this right here. You need a controller, which is the bricks all the way around. Okay. You need to have a tank. This holds the fuel, which is lava. It takes a piece of glass. We have that on me too because I made glass accidentally. Okay, now you need to have a drain, okay, and that's this right here. I'm going to grab one of those. I'm actually going to grab two drains, okay, so we have two drains. Drains need a faucet. Let's grab those. There's one there, and there's one there. Now, that's pretty much all you need to have it run. Now, what you should also have is a casting basin so you can make blocks and a casting table so that you can make uh, other things with using a pattern. And then the rest of this, these bricks, we're going to make into actual blocks like that. So you've got five of them right there. Okay? So let me uh, get all this sorted out. And once I have all the bricks, we'll build this thing together and we'll see how it works. All right. I should have enough here. Uh, if I don't, I'll make some more. So we're going to put this in. Basically, you've got to make an area either two by two or three by three with these seared bricks. And I'm going to put that as the base. And then I'm going to go up. I'm going to do a three layer one because I already want to start with something big. So I'm putting this in right now. Okay, I'm going to do this right here. Now I'm going to do two more, and then I'm going to do a third one here. My tank is going to go right here, okay? And then right here in the front. See, I'm going to run out. I knew it. Let's get some more here. I need just two more of these, I think. Okay. I'm going to put the rest of it right there. So here we go. Okay, got two more blocks. Now, I actually will need a few more than that now that I think about it. Okay, so we're going to have the controller. I want the controller right in the middle, okay? Now, the drains, I want to have facing outward here. Actually, they face on both sides. It doesn't really matter. And then I want the tank to 
go right here. Okay, and you see that came on. That means it's active. It's working great. And I'm going to put in some uh, lava in here. I'll put it into the tank. I'll right click. There it is. So now we have fuel source. Now I'm going to take the faucets and put them out here. Just like that. And then the, we'll put the casting table on one and the basin right there. I need three more blocks. Let's get those really quick here. Apparently I might just have enough. Uh, really? <laughs> I need like one more block. <laughs> It figures, right? Okay. So we'll put these here and here. So I've got two layers worth. And so if I go in here, you can see I can do that. Now, if I put in some material here, it will actually give me uh, various amounts of this. So if I put this in here, let's see, and we go let it go. Copper goes pretty quickly. And even though I've put four pieces, four pieces usually makes four ingots. But you'll see here, it'll say it's worth a certain amount of ingots, like eight ingots. So this will double my ore. Uh, usage for me and that's why I did this right away because we're gonna be mining in just a little bit let's just make sure that this uh, does still what I think it does take me just one more second here and it should say how many ingots worth see we have eight ingots worth instead of four it's a great way to double up your ore uh, a little bit of a fight here <laughs> I'm gonna run away look at all the monsters that's crazy of course these guys can give me some string I need string right now so There we go. There was a thing throwing stuff at me. It was kind of crazy looking over here. Right there. See it? Looks like a blaze. Wow, that hurt. Okay, we're going back away. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, that's scary. Okay, we're safe in here. Wow, that was close. But I did happen to get some more uh, clay, I thought. I don't see it, though. I guess it might have been sand or gravel. Oh, yeah, we got clay. There we go. So I can make the other piece. I'm going to do that now, and I'm also going to put in this copper, and then we'll show you how to make a block of copper. The smeltery is at full capacity here, and we're filling up with copper. Here we go. Look at all that copper coming in. Now this tells me now I have five blocks worth and one ingot. So I can go over here to the where I make blocks, open the tap, and there you go. It'll pour out a block's worth, and then it'll cool, and then I have a block of copper. So that way I've gotten a lot more ore out of it, which is really, really nice. All right, let's uh, get ready to go down, 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 and see if we can get some uh, some stuff down there in the mine. I've dug my way down to bedrock, which is great. Bedrock in this pack is flat, completely flat. So mobs don't spawn on bedrock, but they could spawn like if there's a block and there's space for them to spawn on top of it. That's what they, they can do. Now I'm down here for mining. I want to get really first. I want to see if I can find some gold. And that was a vein mine with that pick, and that's going to go pretty quick. Let's uh, use my other pick really quick here first. Not using the iron one. And that much stuff, and it's all gone. We only found some redstone, which I can pick up if I had a diamond level pick, which I don't have. So we're going to see what we can do here. Like I said, I want to get gold. And I want to get gold for the reason of that I can use it in the Tinker Smeltery to make uh, the various casts. And we want to make those as quickly as possible. Specifically, we want to get the cast for um, uh, an ingot so we can make the, uh, the other ores into ingots if we need to. So we're just going to go around here. We're going to find some stuff, see what we can see. Wow, that was cool. So it takes a diamond pick out to get the cinnabar ore. So I don't have that. So we're just going to go for a little bit this way. And that's, I think, all we're going to do because we uh, lost our iron pick. I have about five more pieces of iron, so I'm going to go up top. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to make another pick, and I'm going to go mine for a little bit, and let's see if we can find some gold. I found some gold, but as you can see, it takes harvest level of diamond on the pick to uh, get this, which means even an iron pick won't work. So I think we're looking for diamonds. And then once we get some diamonds, then we can get a diamond pick to get the gold. We need to get the gold because we need to get those uh, casts that we need to make. So let me go find diamonds now. Saying what I just said, I'm going to try still with an iron pickaxe. I know it says diamond but look at it, it says that it's now green. And I thought, well, let me try it. So let's see if we do this with this. See, it does give us ore. So I'm not sure what they're talking about harvest level. But, uh, but yeah, we have some gold. I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this gold, okay? All right, we're here at the smeltery. What we're going to do is we're going to put this gold in here. Okay, and it's going to smelt up pretty quick. Now, what we want to do is we want to have an ingot that we need to cast from. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. This will waste this uh, iron ingot. That's okay because I'm making a cast for it, and I am I think this is kind of necessary. So we're going to wait for this to get cooked up here. 
in just a second. And we're going to make a cast, okay? So let's do that real quick. Come on. It's almost done here. Okay, so there we have a gold. And then we're going to select gold so it's on the bottom, which means it'll pour out. Now I'm going to pour it over this iron ingot. And you can see it kind of goes around it. Now when this cools, the iron will be consumed. But we have a cast. It's a basically a, a cast of an ingot. Now, with that, now that we have all this gold here, so if we can make one block and five ingots, so we can make a block. And now we can make ingots. And this will uh, be in here, and we have an ingot of gold. See that? So now I have a way of actually doubling up my resources and various minerals that I get from mining. And we can make blocks, or we can make ingots. Isn't that great? Now that I've shown you that, I think I'm going to start to work on some more of the quests for this video. So let's start to do that really quick. The first one here we're going to work on is pulverized wheat. Basically, we need to make 64 wheat flour. And it looks like we craft this by uh, putting flour and wheat into the crafting table. So we've got our wheat here. Let's just do that since this should work out pretty quickly, I would think. There we have that. Okay, we go back into here, detect it, we'll claim it. Here we got a bunch of wheat flour. Okay. And you see, things are starting to open up here. This is very good for food. And that's what we kind of want to make sure we have is enough food. Here we have to make bread. We have to make 64 bread. Okay. Now, bread in vanilla takes wheat, but I think in this one it's going to take, well, it does take wheat or wheat flour probably. I guess not. It takes just wheat. Okay, so let's go do that. Let's make 64 bread. So we're definitely going to have to get more uh, from our farm, which I'll have to go do, but that won't take too long. Okay. Made the baked bread achievement. Okay, let's go back out here and make sure it looks like it. Uh-huh. Take the wheat flour you made in the last quest, put it in the furnace, and watch it turn into bread. Uh, okay, we'll do that. I mean, I'm doing this wrong. Let's just do that. Uh, let's split this out. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to let that run for a little bit, and then we'll get this quest done. And it's all cooked up here. Let's grab it and get a little bit of experience, I guess, with that. That's good. Here we go. And now that quest should be done, right? Made the bread. Detect that. We'll claim it. We've got a lot more bread. Great. Now, what is this? Looks like toast. Requires time to bake. Well, time to bake takes bakeware. Okay, so let's look up bakeware really quick. I'm not sure what that takes to make. Okay, takes bricks. Basically, eight bricks. We know bricks you get from clay. Okay, and we have a bunch of clay right here. So, let's cook that up. And we'll get uh, some bricks. And then we'll make bakeware. So, you know, these quests are pretty easy. Um, it's not everything that I want to do with this pack is do quests. I'm going to do other things too. And we're going to do that in a little bit. Uh, but I thought maybe we'd do a couple of these quests, get them out of the way, see where we get. Okay, so we're getting bricks here. There's two. And there's two. And there's two. And there's two. Okay. And you bring it over here. And we get bakeware. There we go. Let's do the quest. Detect it. Claim it. Got a lot of bread now. And now that we have that, we should be able to do... Oh, look at this. We got lots of stuff that we can make. It's pretty cool, this stuff. Okay. Toast. Bread is good. Just by placing bread next to... Uh, looks like next to the bakeware, right? Okay. So put bakeware here. Put some toast there. And we got toast. Now look at that. That's almost four things of, of uh, food. That's that's uh, a lot of good stuff compared to this list too. It's like double, and super easy to make. Okay, so let's uh, get that quest reward. Okay, no, this is toast on top of toasts. Toast sandwich. We make sixty-four toast sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that sounds kind of yummy. What's a toast sandwich? Two pieces of bread, huh? And you get this, which is a full four. Okay. And it said, how many do we need? We need 64, so it's going to take up... Uh, that should be enough, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's get this out of here. And there we go. 64 toast sandwiches. And we'll detect that, claim it, and done. Okay. Look at that. We got this toast sandwiches. That's good stuff there. Okay, well, I did some more of the quests. Now I think the next thing I want to do is I really want to go out and I want to do some exploration. So let me get some gear ready. We're going to go see what we can find. The sun is rising. I have a set of iron tools here. I also have some shears and a Hermitron box so we can have extra storage. 
I have two goals that I want to try to find. I want to try to find some wool. Wool would be very useful so I can make a bed or a sleeping bag. That's something I want to find. I also want to find slime because I want to get some slime boots. Those are very good for traveling. So is the slime sling. So we're going to head off in this direction and see what we can find. Now, um, I haven't done a lot of exploring yet in this map. So, you know, it could be right around the corner for all I know. Or it might not be anywhere close. We'll just have to see what we can find. There's another one of those clouds up there. And those are usually good for things, too. So we're just going to look around here, see if we can see it. Get a little higher vantage point. That looks very dark over there. Don't see any sheep or animals, do you? Because I don't. Okay, so we're going over this way. There's a little cave over there. Looks like we're going to have to go that way to get uh, more stuff. So let me uh, just head out over there. Let's see if we can find something, okay? Well, what do we have here? I have another one of these structures. Now, I was told that like somewhere in here there are... Well, there's a Hermitron over there. But there are chests like underneath things. So I'm going to check underneath all these pillars and things. Let's see if I can find a chest. Because that would be very cool. Uh, it might be also in the center. Not sure where it would be. I've never done this or pack or really know where things are. Let's look here. Uh, is that a monster down there? Something kind of glowy. I don't know what that is. I'm going to uh, remember this place and not, not get it yet. Because I'm a little bit worried about what it is. You know, I'm going to vein mine that. This water source is a pain. Let me get rid of the water source. That might help too. Okay, we're going to try to swim up here. Okay. Some kind of crystal thing? I'm not sure what that is. Well, let's just go in and see. Let's get rid of this stuff right here. Okay, there are chests in here. A floating crystal. I'm not sure. It's probably for some mod pack that I'm not aware of. But uh, we did get Ender Pearl. Constellation paper and some glowstone dust. And it looks like I'm memorizing drawings of something or other. I'm not sure what that is. Very interesting. Okay. Let's get rid of these. I don't want these on either. Okay. So, I, like I said, I haven't done anything with this particular uh, mod pack. So, I'm not sure what it is. Another chest. Aquamarine, some bones, a diamond, good, there we go. So we found some stuff. I'll have to come back to that. So let's uh, get out of here and let's keep on exploring. Like I said, I have a certain goals that I want to find. That was kind of interesting though. Occasionally, you'll find chests inside of trees. Look at that, we've got a creeper uh, pet. It makes us immune to explosions. I like having that, that's a good idea. Let's get all those other resources here. What don't I need? I don't need seeds or I don't need apples either. Let's get the melons. That's pretty good. Let's get the emerald. Okay. You know, i got other things I can do with my uh, storage. I'm not going to carry that stuff around. So we're going to go on. We're going to go and see if we can find what I've been looking for. I haven't seen any sheep yet. I also haven't seen uh, any slime or slime island. So we're going to keep looking. There's a slime island up in the sky. And you can see the slimes are falling down. So there's slimes down here. So we're going to try to get some of these slimes. There's a chance cube. Maybe we'll pop that a little bit. Oh my gosh, he's fl sitting on one. Okay, so you see if we can get some slimes here. Good. That's what we want. We want to get slime balls and, oh, look at that. Get a hat out of that. And some loot bags and things. Okay. So I'm going to go and fight these slimes for just a little bit here. It's um, the idea being that we can get enough materials to make our slime boots and a slime sling, which will give us faster mo movement and we'll, won't take fall damage, which will be really nice. So... Why am I not picking those up? Uh, probably because I got other things on here that I don't need to hold on to. What don't I really care about? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put them right here. Okay, put that there. Might need that. Okay, we're going to get all this stuff here because we need to get this. I didn't realize I wasn't picking this up. Whew, good thing I stopped and looked. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we need to make some boots. I think I don't have enough yet. Uh, maybe I do. I'm not sure. Let's go over here real quick. Get out of the water. Okay, so we're making slime boots. 
and it just takes slime blocks nine or uh, slime blocks and slime blocks takes nine slime so we're gonna have to get a lot more slime probably I'm gonna have to pillar up there and fight that out okay so let me uh, do that and then we'll come back and see how things are going we're getting close but it's also getting to be nighttime this is not good okay here we are now we can get these slime blocks that are here and this will be kind of useful to us right okay now will those make the slime boost that we need I'm not sure uh, we have our crafting table let's plop this down we're gonna check this out and see for ourselves hopefully no mobs will spawn up here let's see that doesn't work okay but those do make slime balls and there we go now let's get some more of this bluish block because we need to get that for to make enough slime balls let me just get these right here all right we got 20 of those that should be plenty and we'll make that into there we go a bunch of balls here now we need we needed uh, four of these right we'll take the slime uh, boots Yes. Right. Crafting table. <laughs> I'm like, why wasn't I able to make it? Okay. Now, those are the slime boots. Now, I want to make sure I got the right ones because I might have the wrong ones. I know there are slime. There's a slime sling and slime boots. Let's look for any other boots because I'm really worried that I picked the wrong thing. And that would be very bad. I think it might be these. To be honest. So, let's make that too. Let's, uh... There we go. I think that's the actual slime boots that you have uh, that gives you the jumping ability. These are just slimy. And then the slime sling, it takes a block, some string, which we don't have any string yet, but we do have some blocks that we can make with this stuff, so that's pretty good. Okay, uh, let's get this too. That way, we, at least we have the resources with us, because we are about out of time here, folks. Um, I didn't find any, still any uh, sheep. I'll grab that too. I didn't find any sheep at all. So uh, I'm not sure what we're, we're going to do here. Um, probably just go back and uh, we'll come back later on. Maybe in the next episode we'll try to find some sheep because there's lots of mobs spawning. Ooh, and there's a meteor here. Let's, um, well, let's do a test first. <laughs> I'm going to put on those slime boots. I should be able to jump off. Actually, I don't want to do the test. Never mind, because if I die and, and uh, there's lots of mobs here, let's go. Let's go home. Okay, we're back at our base. So that's always good. Okay, Whew. that's really all I have time for today. But uh, before I go, I want to open up these two loot bags and see what we get. Now these are common and not very great loot bags. But we'll see. Maybe never know. So a bone, and a slimy ball, and a cookie, and a mob chunk. Okay. Well, let's open up this one. Uh, weapon case, it's not too bad. Uh, okay, I don't know what we have to do with it. There we go, and grab it. Okay, we're going to open this up and see what it gives us. Ready? There it goes. Look at all the swords going by. Crystal wing. Broken. So it's junk. Okay. Well... <laughs> That was kind of a fun episode. Next time I plan on uh, hopefully getting somebody on here to help me do a base build and also to do a little bit of uh, conversation. So um, I will see you next time, okay? If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Again, I am Tinker77. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.